Rafael Cordero, and he's kind enough to join us right now. There he is, Rafael. There you go. How are you, my friend? Good to be with you. Thank for all kind of words, my brother. Yes, always. Thank Long you so time. much. I, have, I don't remember the last time then we talked. I don't remember. I think it was around, honestly, the last Mike Tyson fight, uh, if I do, if I do remember. Um, and now you are back, and I see you on these viral videos, my friend. Uh, it's it's a crazy thing to see. So, could I ask, from your perspective, how did it all come together, uh, being a part of this particular camp for you and Mike together? For me, it's like a, a dream come true. I'm blessed guy. I have worked with the guys, and I have worked with a lot of champs for all my career, as you'll know. And now we have, I have a pleasure to train one more aisle guy that I've been looking for since I was a kid. It's the second camp Then we are working. And be with Mike is something much, it's, just not, it's not just about boxing, it's about life. Be with him every single day. Let see the way he see his life is, is amazing. I learn every single day. And this fight was something that everybody was expecting for a long, long time. Yes, for sure. Jake and Mike, Two of those guys then can make it a lot of noise all over the world. Oh, we just lost them, but I'm enjoying these uh, highlights right here. I mean, that speed, the ferocity is something else. We'll reconnect with uh, Hafel in a moment. The footage is nuts, and they're in small, tight locations. Like, I'm always afraid when I see it that Hafel's going to get pushed through a door or something. There's one shot where, I mean, look, his, his mitt flies off. Oh, look at that body shot. It's like, oh. Sign the contract. There's rhymes. I didn't notice the rhymes. Where's the one with the mitt flying off? I mean, it's kind of mesmerizing, to be honest. I wonder where, uh, how, here it is, boom. That one's nuts. Everyone talking about Mike Tyson walking with a cane. Doesn't look like he needs a cane doing all that. I I, I reckon I reckon he knocks me out with one of those punches. Um, Rafael, there he is. Ah, uh, there he is. Sorry, no, sorry about that. No problem, no problem. So, uh, can I ask when did you first hear about this being a possibility? How long ago was it? A few days ago, Mike was training hard long for a long time, and a few days ago he contacted me. And uh, man, it's been amazing to see Mike back in train with full energy. I'm really excited for the future. And and uh, what was your reaction when you found out that he was going to have this fight against Jake Paul? Because there's a 30 year age gap between them. It's not like going up against Roy Jones. How did you feel when you first heard about it? People have to understand. You have to see Mike the way he trained. He trained. I will. Exactly the same way the new generation trains, sometimes more than that. So it's no news for me. I was expecting to see Mike at least fight two more times. This is what we're looking for. And then we, when we hear about Jake, I say, man, Mike can fight against anyone. I see with good eyes uh, what I can see in the gym every single day. His energy, the way he put his train is unbelievable. The people they have surrounded him, Mike can fight against anyone. It is what we believe. He never gonna put his name in something. Then you know, true believe he can go there and put a great show. I believe Mike gonna put a great show. He trained hard every single day. He, you know, when he put focus in something, it's amazing to see. I like I said before, I learn every single day. I see his reaction about everything, and you, you guys can expect a great show. Uh, as you probably know, there are people who are concerned about the age gap. What do you say to those people who say this is too much? Thirty years, fifty-seven years old, soon to be fifty-eight. This isn't safe for Mike Tyson. There seems to be a lot of people who are concerned about his health and well-being. I, I believe people don't have to be concerned about. We talk about the guy who was two times world champ. The guy didn't have 20 fights in two years. And uh, he knows how to fight. He fought against the best guys in the world. When he stepped inside the ring, he knows what to do. There's no something new for Mike. And this fight is no different. He worked hard every single day to go there and try his best to knock Jake out since the beginning to the end. This is his style. Nobody has to teach Mike. Nobody has to teach Mike Tyson how to, how to fight. And he's going to prove in July. He's going to still the same. You know, you can see fine with his eyes when he trained. He's never going to be less than that. Yeah, I truly believe it's going to be a great show. And Mike going to step inside the ring as the old Mike Tyson, as the old time. 
and uh, he's going to try and knock Jake off since the beginning to the end. Uh, th- those uh, videos that we've seen online the last few days, how recent are those? Are, are, are those training sessions that happened recently? Last week. Okay. I just come back from Sydney. We spent last week over there, and Mike just hit the bags, that, hit the meats, hit the bags. He did his strength conditioning, his diet. He had a group of people around him. I'm one of the guy, one of those guys that work with a lot of people around. And we have a Erica, we have a Mike Angel, we have a James, we have Kiki's Mike's wife. She take care about everything. So it's a great team. Man. It's a great team. I'm ex- super excited. It's a professional team. It's not something that just like gonna be entertainment. No, it's gonna be a fight. This is why we truly believe. And uh, Ariel, the way the, the way I train Mike is the same way I train my boys to fight MMA. So there's no different. Sometimes I can see on Mike something that can inspire the next generation, the way he sees the fight. When he put his name, he knows what to do. He knows what he wants. And uh, it's going to be a war, man. This is what I truly believe. So the fight is in a little over four months from now. Is he starting his training camp now? No, he already started. Wow. He does conditioning. Isn't that he too long condition. for the training camp? Or is, or is that okay? <laughs> Mike, as soon as people start talking about maybe let's do one more fight, he's already back in camp. Oh, okay. He's in already in shape. He's already in shape. Uh, we cut a lot of things. We already start doing rounds in our training, so it's amazing to see the way he hit meets. He's a monster. What I can tell you, Mike is a monster. And the only thing I can guarantee, Mike going to touch Jay, 100%. It's going to be impossible to Mike don't touch Jay. Let's see how Jay will react after that. With all respect, because he's an amazing kid. He's no more a YouTuber. As you can see, Jake is no more a YouTuber. He knows how to fight boxing. He boxed against tough opponents in the past. He has split decision with Tommy Fury, which means he's coming. But he wanna face somebody that has a legend in sport, somebody he did there for a long, long time, somebody that never left of sport. We talk about the one of the most popular people in the world. I was Mike in Sedona last weekend, last week and weekend. And uh, just to see the way people react to see him on the street there. Uh, it's all age, kids, girl, girls, guys, fathers, uh, grandpas, people come and hang him. Uh, it's amazing to see all generations. People know Jake Paul from that generation, but we talk about somebody going to bring a lot of generations that people love fight and people love to see Mike fight. So it's going to be amazing. I'm looking forward to see the sold. Probably is going to be sold out. Yeah. Probably is going to be sold out. I can't imagine. I'm going to see you there 100. percent Yeah. And I expect a good fight, my brother. I expect a war. Can I ask uh, th- those those clips of you holding mitts and he's coming after you, and even one time your mitt flies off like that? To me, from here, looks terrifying. What is it like staring at Mike Tyson as he's coming to you with that force, that speed, that ferocity? It's something that I have to I have to admit. Hold me from Mike is different. It's different. The way he reacts is one second from long distance to short distance. Sometimes I want to say one, two, three, he's already inside. If I don't move back, then it's a <laughs> oh Lord, it's impossible. I have to move. I have to move away from him because he's next to me all the time. It is the way he fights. Mike prolonged for long distance to short distance in less than one second, he's there, exploding. This is his style. And uh, we train. The way we train now is to make him more and more active and answer as fast as he can all the time in all situations. So you're gonna fight somebody, Jake gonna fight somebody, prepare for. It's not somebody, then let's see what is gonna happen. No, it's serious. He, he Mike, he never take lightly on the train. He's not different right now. The difference between this mic and the one that we saw four years ago against Roy Jones, what would you say is the difference? From, for example, with Roy, with Roy Mike was maybe a long time without his meets and uh-huh. things like that. He got back to himself. But now, after four years, he back in track, he back in shape, his diet. Hold, I hold meets for him for, for four years. And I can tell, one of the toughest punches that I hold I swear run area. My shoulder after first year, man, I messed with my shoulder. I put the whole meets for at least six, seven months with my boys in the gym. Wow. Because when Mike is gym, no, I swear run. My right, my right shoulder was like a, a big, big mess. And I stopped for a while for six months. They care about my shoulder, physiotherapy. And now you're here again. 
and uh, probably yeah. have to fight it back by physiotherapy. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. So even even after the Roy fight, you were still holding mitts. Like for the last four years, you were still yeah. working out. He worked with commercials with Mike. He come to my gym and hold mitts. For he traveled over the world because he had to promote. Yeah. It's Tyson Chu Chu his brand. But uh, as soon as I got here in California, I'm there with him. I traveled to Las Vegas, all over the place to help him. He's still working hard. There's no difference. It, when you ask me about what's the difference in the past, for now, the guy then was 15 years without hit meets, started hit meets, and now he's preparing to fight maybe his best fight. Okay. Do you have a, a preference like exhibition, pro, three minute round, two minute rounds, number of rounds? Do you, do you have a preference if it was up to you? I don't know. You know, he's going to be prepared for everything. Whatever they ask, we're going to be prepared for. But what I know, we're going to work hard. We still work hard. We have almost four months, like you said. And it's really four months. It has no time out. I was with Mike in Sedona. He trained three times a day, every wow. single day. Wow. Three times a day. Conditioning, weight, it meets hard, everything 100%. So what I can expect this guy. When people think people have to people think too much about 57 years old, forget this, forget, forget this. You, we cannot talk about 57 years old. He does movements then kids with 20 or 21 years old can do, cannot do. He does movement that people with a young age cannot do. So I can measure 57 years old with 20 years old. I can't, I cannot. But a guy then come from from it, it, it came from this world. It's not something then, okay, let's see what's going to happen. He go there to entertain. How Mike can entertain people, try and knock people off. Hmm. How did you first, like, how did an MMA coach with, you know, your historic uh, roster of fighters, Brazilian, how did you end up with Mike Tyson? Who, who introduced you? Was his old partner. He introduced me. He called me one day and can you figure some gloves material for Mike? I said, for sure. And can you come Monday and hold meets for him? I said, sure, I can. I was like, my Lord, here we go. Uh, and then from there, from there, I started holding meets for him. as just like a you know, play and uh, just to make him feel comfortable back in the track. And then after first, second, third meets, he started training every single day. And here we are. Four years later, he, I'm still holding. He still hit hard, harder than before because now he's in in proper shape to fight. Mm. It's just about keep doing what he does every single day. It's going to be amazing. And I can tell. Probably it's going to be his best fight of his career. And then this is the reason I can say, okay, stop talking about 57 years old. Let's, we have to stop okay. to talk about them. Inside the gym, he does things then the young generation never see. By the way, that first time that you held mitts for him, how nervous were you? For me, it was like a dream come true. I was seeing my idol in front of me. I shake a little bit. Has, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't know why. It was like, who meets for, you know, you know the guys that yeah. I have a dream for all. But Mike is different. I can tell. One day you have to, you have to hold meets for here. And no, gonna feel. I would love I to felt. see it. I would love to see it because just the, the clips are mesmerizing. You know, it's like it's, I can watch those over now. and over again. It's a class all the time when I, hold meets for him and I do my things with him as a class and I learn a lot and I appreciate man, everything that they have done for me and for all community around him is a such nice guy guy that like to share his history and it's, for me it's a blessed time to be with him his family is you know it's a a dream come true Aaron, and I look forward to put a great show on, on July 20th and and he's such a fascinating guy and such a smart guy. When you're just sitting around with him, that must be just as interesting, right? Just talking about life, experiences, his thoughts on things, right? It is. Because um, if you see, I want to give you an example of the, the new generation. New generation now, they are based by trash talking, for example. They, I'm, I want to start doing MMA. Okay, let's watch TV. And then I want to see a guy, then I look. Okay, he's, he has good techniques, but look at the way he talk about somebody. He fresh talking, he talk about family, talk about everything. And I say, hmm, okay, I'm going to start doing this kind of sport. Before I become fighter, I'm going to start doing my fresh talk because I saw before. Sometimes I don't have the techniques, but I know how to do the fresh talking. Mm. If I have good 
talking can sell fights is going to be good for me. What I learned for this guy every single day in the gym, he have to say nothing against nobody. When he says something, he, now, he never talk about somebody, he talk about himself. And when, when you talk about himself, you're going to say the good things and the bad things you see in your life. Not about you. I can't judge you. I can tell you my history, what I learned doing this, doing that. It is what we learn every single day with Mike. When he says something, it's like a, come with a lot of knowledge because he was there before. Mm. And uh, be with this guy, then have something to show, not just about boxing, not just about the ring, but what, what make Mike be, who, be where we are and who he, who he, so I'm Mike Tyson because of that. And this is amazing. This inspire, inspire people, inspire me as a professor, as a coach, as a father. And uh, it's a big lesson that I have every single, every single day with him. So where will his training camp be for this fight? Like once he really starts like the last two months or whatever, where would that be? In Sedona? We, we have some place, we have some place and we are figured out where it's okay. going to be. Probably it's going to be here, there, Vegas, Miami, so California. So we are, we are here, there. And so you guys going to know for sure where he's going to be. And will there be a point where, where you will be with him the whole time and you'll have to leave the gym? Yes. Okay. I'll be with him doing my thing and uh, help. All, just not, it's not just about me. We have a lot of people around. Sure. But uh, as a coach, I want to be there with him every single day. Is that difficult? Because you have Kings MMA as well. Usually there's people training at your gym. Now you have to leave the gym. Is that difficult for you? It is, but at the same time, it's a great moment for sports, a great moment for the gym, for me, for my fighters. And uh, they understand. I have that conversation today, actually, and I explain everything to them. Some of those guys going to follow me, some of them going to stay. I have a lot of quotes in my gym as well. They help me with the, all those fighters, with travel, things like that. But for sure now, my focus is going to be help Mike to put a great show on July 5th. And, uh, you know, obviously you're a legend and you've been watching fighting and been around fighting for so many years. What is your honest opinion of Jake Paul? What you see of Jake Paul now uh, as a fighter, how would you how would you rate his skills? He's a great fighter. The guy that you have to respect is not like Lomark, like a Disney kid. Yeah. He's become a man. A man that know how to fight. He know how to throw punches. Let's see how, you know, how the things go. But uh, we have to respect this kid. I have no trash talk to talk about him, nothing to say about him. He put himself against Anderson Silva, Tyrone Woodley, Nick Diaz, Tommy Fury, and then name it. So he fought against guys, then uh, he, he showed he has good skills. So we respect, based by this kind of respect, you want to train harder to put a great show. It's not going to be a YouTuber, no, it's going to be a fighter. And you want to be prepared for this guy. His last two opponents, like you mentioned those guys, but his last two opponents maybe weren't the biggest names and he finished them in the first round. People are like, oh, that's an Uber driver, dismissing them, which, uh, you know, maybe is a little bit unfair because anyone who steps through the ropes, as you know, like you're putting a lot on the line, the training camp, the nerves, the pressure, all that. You still have to finish another human being. How would you compare like those two performances to maybe the ones against the MMA fighters? Were you impressed with what you saw against the last two guys in December and just a couple of weeks ago in Puerto Rico? He's ready to fight against anyone. There's a reason he's going to fight against Mike Tyson. So he put himself in point. It's not like a... If you talk about, okay, let's say, when I start his career, his first fight, let's fight Mike Tyson. No, no. He made... He's, he's, he's made in his career to this point, not just as an entertainer, but as a fighter, that he can fight against anyone. And Mike respect that. The fact that the kids step on to fight against him. So... Let, this is the way we see the fight with respect, respect Jake and they're going to try to kill each other 100% it's going to be a war and uh, I truly believe as soon as Jake feel Mike's power he's going to change so how do you see the fight playing out? what do you envision? first round KO hey, oh, wow. but this is Mike Tyson <laughs> first this round is Mike Tyson. this is Mike Tyson this is the way he fights nobody has to teach Mike to fight so it's going to be amazing, but we prepare him to go into and uh, do his thing. Uh, you know, be ready to go in, to go out, prepare to counter, prepare to work his defense, and the most important thing, prepare to attack. Because this is Mike Tyson. And, and how's his cardio these days? Doing well. Doing well. Saturday before our meets, he ran for one hour. Wow. So 
before our train. How do you explain it's this? Gonna be How's it, okay, can I ask, how, how old are you? I'm 50. You're 50? Fit. And he's 57. And how is he, like, it, does, it, it defies logic. Like I say, it's hard to say a number when you see somebody doing this. Yeah. When you talk about morning, you wake morning. <laughs> yeah. Early morning. When you talk about, okay, let's, I want to train in the morning. It's early morning. Okay, I want to train in the afternoon, early afternoon. I want to train night, early night. Always in the beginning. Okay. Always in the beginning. There's no time for, oh, let's see if I want. No. I have to go. I have to go. Things like that, you know, Ariel. Things that we heard when you were a kid. Like Tyson, he wake four in, four, four in the morning, 4 a.m. in the morning to go and train because he wants to train before his opponent. Remember all this yeah, kind of, of history? Yeah. This is true. This is amazing. True. This is perfect. And I put my word there, Ariel. I saw a lot of professional fighters train, but uh, a couple like Mike. Uh, has he shared with you his motivation? Like he, you know, he seems to be doing well. He doesn't, I don't think, need money or anything. His legacy is is his legacy. Why is he doing this? Because he love, he love fight for the people. Like I say, I was in Sedona with him. The love that people share with him in the streets is something that uh, I can't explain. I saw a lot of celebrities, MMA fighters, celebrities. But we have these guys, and then we have Mike Tyson. And Mike Tyson is different. Mm. Is different. I don't say that because I, we are brothers. Yeah. Oh no! If you people know Mike, whatever he go, he never have to introduce himself for nobody. Nice to meet you, Mike Tyson. Yeah. He never have to introduce himself for nobody. So show who he is. How are things going at the gym uh, outside of the Mike Tyson yeah. business? Everything going well? Doing well, look forward to see Giga coming up. What else? Urush. Benny, we look forward to see who's going to be next step for Benny. Uh, what do we, Johnny Barbosa, I have a girl, Johnny Barbosa, she's going to fight in Brazil. You have seen Brazil, amazing girl, amazing girl. She's black belt in judo, black belt jiu jitsu, amazing strike. She's going to fight in Brazil, her first fight in UFC. We have a good guys coming up. Renato Injo, a guy in fight LFA. <sighs> Strong dude, represent all the best in Brazil. Black belt Jiu Jitsu, amazing striker. We come with a great team, and I uh, look forward. 2024 is going to be a great year for Kings MMA. Already is. Yes. I, I can't complain about nothing. So, winning, losing, but always moving forward. This is about, this is life, this is all about. This is what I'm looking for. All these years, you still, you still enjoy it. You still love coaching. You still love the, the fight game. I'm still, I'm still, and uh, I love being involved with sport. I love being with my people, you know, people I trust, uh, you know, as any, as any job, you have people then love your job and be by yourself and people, sometimes people by yourself don't like too much, but they are with you. So I'm blessed to have people then always by my side, people that I trust. And you want to have people that you trust, you know, Sky is the limit. Uh, final thing for you, Rafael. You know, um, o over the uh, the last week or so, we've been talking about this fight and uh, have received a lot of negative feedback. People say, "How could you support this? How could you?" What the great Rafael? Don't listen to me. The great Rafael Cordero, who has seen it all and done it all and coached them all in this game. Why should people not be worried about this fight on July twentieth? It's going to be an amazing fight. It's going to be an amazing fight. We prepare Mike to put a great show. We talk about Mike Tyson, the guy that would have to say nothing. His name talk to himself. So he's going to try to put a great show. Like I said before, we go there to put a war. He never going to be like a, he never take easily nothing. He always put all his work and put his work, put his work. And this is what I believe. It's going to be amazing. If you like fight, you have to watch. Well, I feel great knowing that you're by his side. I think that's incredible. I love seeing those videos with you holding the mitts. It's uh, it's really a joy to see. And I appreciate okay. you coming on. And I wish you guys the best in the next four months as you prepare for this fight. But I know you have a lot of other fights with all your other fighters coming up as well. So good luck to you and the team. And uh, thank you for coming on the show. It was great to have you once again, Coach. Thank you again, Ariel. I forgot to say name and Grace. You're going to fight April 19th. Yes. Uh, in the PFL, new, new format. Yeah. So 
on April 19th is going to be there. I appreciate your space, open space for us one more time to talk about sport, talk about life. You know, I'm a big fan of you. I appreciate everything you have done for sport, Dario. Thank you to put our voice. People know our job, what we do inside the office, inside and outside. I appreciate everything you have done for sport, my brother. Thank you, Coach. Obrigado. Obrigado. Okay, there he is. The great Rafael Cordero of Kings MMA will be by Mike Tyson's side on uh, July 20th. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.